Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about this guitar here. This is a brand new Gallagher. And this model is new to the company. It's called the Bluegrass Bell. And I'm going to tell you about the guitar, tell you what I like about it, tell you what I don't like about it, and um, give you a little bit of uh, details on it. So the first thing you notice about this guitar that's different is the headstock. I'll try to get a close up for you there. But you can see it's a squared headstock instead of the traditional French curl that most people that are familiar with Gallagher guitars are used to seeing. And I spoke with the new owner of the company, David Mathis, and uh, he told me he actually struggled with it, with that decision. But this particular guitar is kind of a bridge, um, bridging the old with the new, uh, and then back to the old, actually. So there's a lot of Gallagher in this guitar, but they also wanted to build one that paid tribute um, basically to pre-war Martin guitars. So, hence the squared headstock. Um, and if you'll notice, if you look closer at it, what you'll see is they did incorporate the, the curl design, but it's inlaid just above the G. So, uh, I think it's a nice touch. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like that. Um, and I've been a fan of Gallagher guitars. Don Gallagher and his family, Steve and his wife, Jean, his, his mom you know, passed away a little recently. Um, and I'm, I'm a huge Doc Watson fan, as you can tell. Love Doc, my, my biggest influence. And um, so anybody that's a fan of Doc has to be a fan pretty much of Gallagher guitars, at, at least to some degree. And I'm, I'm no exception to that. So back to this guitar. Uh, when David bought the company, uh, he's brought back the, the Doc Watson model, the G50s, everything. But he wanted to do something a little more and that's where this comes in uh, and this pays like I said this kind of pays tribute to the pre-war Martin designs so what you have here is this guitar brace and pattern inside is designed after a 1937 Martin D18 uh, I did speak to, to Ben Padgett's one of the luthiers there now that's working on these guitars and he told me that it did take some liberties with the brace and they, they did a few things different as far as scalloping versus thicknesses and things of that nature. Um, and again, you'd need to talk to them for all those details. Um, but that's the basic design for it. Aside from that, there's still some Gallagher in this one. Uh, like I said, on the headstock, they inlaid the, the G, but they also put the French curl inlay above it. They also kept the Gallagher design um, pick guard, which I like that a lot. Um, so there's that much of it. and. I'm going to tell you some of the differences now, and then I'll circle back around and tell you my likes and dislikes. Uh, it's an inch and three quarter nut. Uh, this is a guitar is based on an 18, so you got the tortoise shell binding. It does have some herringbone on it though, which is a nice touch. I like that. It also has a volute on the back here. Um, some people call that the little pyramid or whatever, but it's a volute. Um, I like the volute as well, and that's usually reserved for 28 style guitars, but for whatever reason, they have it on this 18 style. Um, this guitar is, as I said, it's 18 style, so it's a mahogany back and sides and a red spruce top. The red spruce in this case is pretty wide grain. Some people like wide grain the way it looks. Some people says it makes a bigger difference in sound. Some people like the tighter grain. I don't really care so much on that. If the guitar sounds good, it sounds good. I don't really care. Um, this guitar also has a fair amount of bear claw. Again, some people don't like bear claw. I like a little bear claw. and This, this has just enough to show, uh, and it's not overboard. By the way, this top is torrified. Of course, you know, the torrification process. They bake it with no oxygen. Supposedly ages the top makes it sound more vintage. So there's that feature, if you're into that. The back and sides, I'll try to get this without glare from the overhead lights as much as I can, but uh, and give you some color in it there. But it's just some really nice, nice mahogany in this guitar. Um, and I think I said inch and three quarter. And now we're gonna get into a couple of features that I like. And uh, I can't really show them on camera, but one of them, the neck. So we're going to go into the playability side of it. The neck has a very slight V, modified V, if you'll call it that. There's a, there's a touch of a V there, but not, I mean, hardly noticeable, but just enough. I like that. That's comfortable to me. 
Uh, if I'm going to go with too much V versus not any V, I'm going to fall, for me personally, my hands always go to no V uh, versus a really sharp V will actually cause my hands to cramp. That's a personal thing. Everybody's going to be a little different on what they prefer. What I do really like about this, in addition to the shape, though, is uh, the back of the neck uh, is satin finish versus gloss like the rest of the body. I really like the way satin finish feels in your hands. I like this guitar. I like the way it feels. I like the way it plays. I like the way it sounds. Uh, and I'll, before I go into the dislikes, I'll tell you the differences in tone for what you might expect. Uh, I think in the past, and there's always exceptions, but generally speaking, when somebody mentioned the word Gallagher guitars, two things would come to mind. One of the first things was the weight of the guitar. Gen generally speaking, Gallagher's are heavier in weight than, than a lot of other guitars. So the first time I ever saw one of the newer Gallagher's since David took the, the company over um, was actually at IBMA last year. And I played three or four at his booth and they were considerably lighter in weight. So I, I think that's a good thing if you can lighten up the guitars to a point. Obviously, you don't want to compromise the structural integrity of a guitar in doing so. Um, but there, I think there was room for, for uh, improvement on that, me. So there's this guitar is a good bit lighter than, than what I would expect from a Gallagher guitar of the old. The second thing I think most people think about when they hear the word Gallagher is uh, not only heavy in weight, but also heavy in tone. They, they tended to be, or have tended to be, pretty heavy in bass. But a lot of them, the bass just wasn't very focused. It, get, it would get kind of muddy and it would get kind of lost. It wouldn't punch through. This guitar, on the other hand, and I'm sure it has something to do with the bracing that they're doing. This guitar, on the other hand, um, it's got some bass in, but it's more defined, it's more focused, and it comes through more as a mid-range punch. Um, I really, really like that in this guitar. I think in a band setting, this would hold up well between mandolins and banjos. So that's the differences that I've seen in the, in the new versus the old tone-wise. Now, my dislikes, I told you I would, and I told David I would when we were talking about me reviewing the guitar. Um, the dislikes, I'm really having to nitpick here, so, but I'm going to tell you, when I see an 18 style guitar with the darker trim and appointments and everything, I like to see a dark strap button, whereas with this one, if you can see it, this one has a white bone, I believe it's bone, uh, strap button, and that's nitpicking, but I would prefer to have seen an ebony or dark colored strap button. That being said, a lot of the people that gig with guitars, the first thing they're going to do is take that out of there, drill it out, and put in an end pin jack. So it really doesn't matter. And some people might even prefer this, this one, but that's my dislike. That's my personal dislike. The other dislike, um, and again, I'm nitpicking here. The other dislike has nothing really to do with the guitar, but it comes with a TKL case. And I have not seen this model. I'm not sure what model it is. I haven't been to their website to see. Uh, but it only has four latches, and it's a lot lighter. I don't want to use the word flimsier because it's not flimsier, but it doesn't feel as robust as what I'm used to, to feeling in TKL cases. Uh, and plus, and it's a new case. Uh, when you go to close it, you kind of there's one of the latches, and there's only four latches. I, I'm used to five, even six, and one of my cases has seven latches. So four four latches is a little less than I would expect. Um, but one of them, you actually kind of have to move the top to get it to fall into place to latch it. That's a new case. The more you use it, I'm sure the more that will actually fall into place with use. Uh, so that's nitpicking. Again, those are the two things, the only two things that I could find about this guitar. Um, and while I usually, when I do reviews, a lot of my reviews, of course, are for other businesses that sell guitars. And, and I'm not trying to sell this guitar. Um, so I usually don't discuss price. In this case, I will, only because I think it adds, when you, I would review based on playability and the tone of a guitar, usually not the overall value, but in this case, I'm going to make an exception, and I'm going to talk about the value of the guitar. Um, this guitar, as it is, is $4,600. I think that's a lot of guitar for that amount of money. That's a good value. Um, the, I know it's still a lot of money for a guitar. I know, uh, but I think for the amount of guitar and, and 
that you're getting with this one. I think that's a, a pretty good value. So that's going to be enough of me yakking about this now. I'm going to go ahead and just play a little bit on it um, and let you hear what it sounds like. And um, hope you enjoy it. I appreciate you watching. And so go check out Gallagher Guitars on their website. This model's listed there now. I did look it up. And if you have any questions about it, don't, don't send them to me. Because I, 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 I just basically told you everything I know about the guitar. Um, but by all means, give them a call or email them. And they'll be glad to talk to you and tell you anything that I'm not covering. Um, and I'm going to play it now and see what it sounds like. Thanks for watching, y'all. Thank mm -hmm. you.